Sagittarius, and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from September 21st to September 28th. This space has been cleared, and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind, so we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Sagittarius content is uploaded. Sagittarius content comes out every single Thursday. If you're feeling my vibe and you would like a personal read, please feel free to check out that description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings, depending upon subscription level. Also down there, you'll find all of my social media contacts. And on, on those uh, social media contacts as well, it will all take you to links back here to YouTube where you can get a daily energy reading. I actually do watch these readings myself in each one of the oracle cards. It involves uh, four oracle cards, uh, your astrology and an elder Futhark rune. And each one of those oracle cards comes with an affirmation. I say the affirmations myself three times because that's how you activate that energy to bring it in. It's all about the energy of the day that Spirit is trying to work with you on. Down there you also find that I uh, now have, offer an energy summary. And the energy summary uh, will get you your natal astrological chart. Your sun, your moon, you know, where, you, where, you, what signs are in each one of your planets to make up you, you. You will get a life path number, a destiny path number. I will give you an energy summary at the end. Looking at your life path and uh, destiny path in your north node. And I'll tell you what kind of energy you might need to cultivate. And what types of practices might help call that energy into you. To help keep you in balance. If you're trying to activate any one thing. Your north node is your destiny path. So it's the energy you have to get comfortable working with. Okay, so it's part of your life's purpose. Work is what your life path number, your destiny path number. Your life path number is the overall a lesson you're trying to learn for the whole life. Destiny path is your role within that life path and your north node is your destiny. So it's again subject matter. It goes with like your life path number. They tend to be pretty compatible in energy. I also will get you, give you your transits. That is how the astrology that I read you off every day uh, goes through and affects you in particular. They're usually good for a year. Depends on what planet you want to look at. The moon changes sign every two and a half days. Pluto every 10 to 25 years. There's a range in there. So you have to decide what your goals are for the year and see if the energy is compatible with that or what planet, because you know each one of the planets governs a different portion of our life. So depending upon what you're working on, you might want updates to the transit reports if it's a sign, you know, if it's a planet that changes signs every few months or something like that, it's up to you. That's at a much lower fee. I cannot give you your transits without doing a natal chart. Once you've done the first energy report with me every year after that, it's a different price to pull you a, a transit report for the year. And then if you want updates, it's that same price. It's five bucks. And it's not five bucks per planet because it's not going to be all the planets. It's only going to be the ones that update. Right? It depends on what you're focused on. You can get it really for just one planet if that's the one you're really focused on. Uh, also down there you'll find a link to my red bubble store where you can find this desk mat. So, If you're in the mood for some retail therapy, please do go take a look. This is an actual photo I took of the Tucson sky. I didn't doctor it at all. All I did was format it for this uh, size. This, this here really is, you know, pinky oranges because we are near sunset at the time that I took the photo and we were having the lightning storms. So the lightning storms were getting geared up. That's why these clouds right here are so dark. On the 21st, we have a waxing crescent moon in, so write a list of your intentions to keep them in mind, in passion at Sagittarius. So you're going to feel it. But the sun, self-focused sun in Virgo, trying 120 degrees in the night sky. Favorable alignment. Pluto, the planet of transformation, retrograde 
in restrictive Capricorn. Pluto retrograde in Capricorn is about karma. The sun, self-focused sun in Virgo is about trying to practically accomplish something. That Sagittarius energy is something we have passion and dynamic energy for. We're focused on it. We want it. Somebody who's acting karmic to you is going to try to stop you. You need to get comfortable in your own personal power and your power to transform. You only have to deal with this karmic person because you continue to put yourself in whatever environment you're in that makes you interact with them. You could choose, if you wanted to, to take yourself out of that environment. There might be consequences, but it's still a choice. On the 23rd, it's happy Libra season. It's beautiful. The, the sun goes into Libra on this day. We also have a waxing uh, gibbous moon here. We're keeping us uh, assessing our goals and trying to figure out what's working for us right now. So we're trying to figure out what might need to change. And Taskmaster Capricorn focused very much so on what we're trying to accomplish. And it's also Happy May Bone, also known as the Fall Equinox, the day when the balance between light and dark is even. Equal in parts, light and dark in that day. So the whole month, because it's Libra season, is going to have a flavor of this energy, but it's really going to be amped up on this day. Focus is on partnership, balance, and fairness. Because Libra and Capricorn are focused on fairness. Okay, and Libra is always focused on, uh, so is the equinox on balance, and Libra is always focused on partnership. Okay, it's also anything on this particular day that even smacks of drama and chaos is a no. It'll just make you feel very out of sorts. You don't, you, you really actually don't have the energy for it. On the 26th, with Void of Course Moon at 8.38 a.m., and then for about 12 hours until 8.18 p.m. EDT. That waxing gibbous moon is in dreamy Pisces. You're going to be extra sensitive. It's like your psychic antenna is going to be on fire today, okay? It's going to be ridiculous. Shields up. But phasers only set on stun because you could be perceiving somebody being in some kind of mood. But they might not actually physically outwardly show that mood. And if they're not, then there's no reasons to assume that that mood has to do with you. If they have a problem with you, they need to be an adult and use their words. Otherwise, you should assume it has nothing to do with you. You're just really sensitive to their energies at the moment. Okay, On the 27th, you have the waxing gibbous moon. Still in dreamy Pisces. Still, still trying to figure out what needs to change. And it's sextile. That's a favorable angle. It's a 120 degree angle. Expansive Jupiter retrograde and luxury loving Taurus. Jupiter retrograde in Taurus is really basically spirit hitting people where it hurts in the 3D in ways they can see. So if you start finding you have a whole bunch of problems, like things start breaking down, things start costing extra money, there starts being complications and troubles happening, then that is a sign that you're behaving in some kind of way that needs to change. You're going to be given an opportunity on this day to try new things. And that opportunity, if you've been doing the work and putting in the stuff, then, you know, you're going to get a blessing on this day. You're going to be given an opportunity for something that is really good. Okay. If you have not been doing the work, you're going to get an opportunity for a lesson. Now, lessons are still valuable because lessons are blessings that we have not yet realized. Or lessenings, as I like to call them. Blessings in disguise. Because what happens is you get a lesson and then you heal from it, provided you're doing the work, right? You heal from it, you learn the lesson and you heal from it, you let it be ingrained in you that this is a way you're to act or not to act. And then, uh, you know, you get rewarded because you learned that lesson. Sagittarius. Either way, it's really a win-win. Sagittarius, September 21st to the 28th. Sagittarius, September 21st to the 28th. Sagittarius, September 21st to the 28th. Sagittarius, September 21st. 
to the 28th. Sagittarius, September 21st to the 28th. Sagittarius, September 21st. To the 28th. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope this reading resonates with you. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I will clarify all these cards. But before I do, past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. You are the walking up to someone and talking, or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Some cards do mean groups. I don't really see any on this. Uh, also on this channel, relationship is defined as a continued interaction between any two people. I'm going to describe energy. You're going to place it on the person that sounds like, and then that's the relationship we're talking about. Just as a quick summary, I would uh, look up the angel number 22. Two of wands there in your past. You were standing at some sort of crossroads trying to plan for some sort of future. If you peep there down in the corner got themselves a uh, globe, but also a VW bug and a surfboard. So definitely something you were planning for. If you were to see the three of wands in this deck, it's this person with longer hair holding a surfboard. So planning, but likely also achieving, but waiting because they hadn't yet caught that wave that they want. Uh, Empress card in that deck anyway. Empress card. Taurus Libra energy, so you could have been interacting with one of those. You could have been standing at a crossroads with the Empress is also a mother. It could be your mother and the mother of your children. Or you could be a mother, so it could be you. Virgo, Gemini energy there with the Magician. There was something you're trying to manifest, something maybe you're trying to create or birth into the world. Page of Swords, there's some kind of truth headed your way. You're going to find something out. There'll be likely be a communication coming into you. Hangman is Pisces energy. A need to use one's intuition as well about some overall thing that you might not be quite seeing. Two of Cups, right, that is cancer energy, but it's also about a relationship of some kind. We're going to have to clarify to find out what kind of relationship that is for you. Knight of Cups, it's any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Pisces. Also card of Aquarius. It's a heartfelt communication that you need to be using your intuition about. Also, Cancer Pisces energy. So that's a lot of the same energy right here. You could be interacting with somebody in one of those signs. Heavy on that Pisces. Mostly Pisces energy there. Balance, though, is found in you. You're going to bring balance to the situation by you being balanced. You have the balance card in the balanced position. Five of Pentacles. Somebody feels left out in the cold world card because something is being brought to a completion or an end or travel motion movement healing so you could be healing this five of pentacles feeling six of cups you've known this person a long time they could be a soulmate connection or you could have like grown up with them or you've known them since you were young or you've known them for many years okay they're not a brand new person queen of cups any water sign cancer pisces scorpio heavy on the cancer also a card of gemini Double Gemini energy. Lots of Cancer Pisces. Because this could be Cancer. This is Pisces. These three. So, interesting. What is this Two of Wands in Sagittarius' past? We've got some sort of message, okay? That put you at this crossroads. What is this Two of Wands in Sagittarius' past? What is this Two of Wands in Sagittarius is past? What is this Two of Wands in Sagittarius is past? <coughs> Some sort of message came in. 
that made you feel some confused, really, and you have this need to be strong. Cancer, Pisces energy with the moon. So a need to be strong here, Leo energy. Leo energy here too. Knight of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Virgo, also card of Leo. It needed you to be strong and slowly move forward. You could have been confused by it though. What is this Empress card? Somebody made a choice, whoever this Empress is for you. Judication, what's this Empress card? Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, what is this Empress card? So there was some kind of sadness here within this uh, connection, whatever this is. Somebody made a choice. Scorpio energy with adjudication. Knight of Swords, any air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Heavy on the Gemini, also a card of Taurus. Queen of Wands. Any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Aries, also a card of Libra. And a card of Pisces. You get a lot of Pisces energy. You do have some Libra energy here with the, the Empress. Five of Cups, there was sadness. Somebody's choice here that they informed you of, right? They came in quick with some communication. Left you um, feeling sad. What is this Magician card? Okay, so somebody could literally be in prison or somebody could feel trapped. What is this Magician card? You might have started manifesting because you felt trapped. What is this magician card? What is this magician card? Either that or you were ill-wishing on someone or someone was ill-wishing on you. You could have felt trapped. Like we were in this nightmare situation. Nine of Swords, which this situation right there looks like a nightmare to me. Five of Wands. Maybe you felt like somebody was deliberately trying to mess with you. They were creating arguments. Five of Wands. Five of Wands is a heated confrontation. It's gossip, it's politics, world politics, office politics. It's a competitive job. It is also um, a card, could be a card of physical violence, of groups arguing, something of that nature. Page of Pentacles, about an opportunity. You were trying to manifest an opportunity here. And this opportunity you're trying to manifest, possibly because you felt trapped and people were arguing, you wanted out of a situation. So you were trying to manifest an opportunity with that page of pentacles. Watch this page of swords. Mature woman, that's like getting the queen of cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio having the cancer, also a card of Gemini. What's this page of swords? What's this page of swords? Lovers. Needing to use one's intuition here, about the choices here, uh, to cultivate, oh, I'm missing a card, I no wonder. What is this page of swords? Why did I think there was three there when there was only two? Eight of swords, that's not good. Okay. So you need to be using your intuition here about whoever this person is that's up in their head, Eight of Swords, or is making a choice to be worried, or a choice to make you feel trapped. And you need to be choosing balance here. You need to try to find a brain to bring balance to yourself, whether you bring balance with this person or not. Justice card, minor arcana, well not minor arcana, major arcana, Libra, energy. It's about contracts, document, paperwork, marriages. So you're gonna find out something about this person deliberately doing something to try to make you feel trapped. What's this hangman? You need to be getting a higher perspective on stability. What's this hangman? What's this hangman? What's this hangman? King of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Heavy on the Aquarius, also a card of Capricorn. Pisces energy there with the hangman. Okay, so some sort of opportunity here that's going to come into you possibly by an authority figure, a doctor, a lawyer, a judge, could even be government that will help you juggle something within your stability within your home. 
What is this Two of Cups? What is this Two of Cups? It's like the King of Wands. Any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Leo. Also a card of Cancer. Looking out towards the distant horizons. It's like getting the Three of Wands. Looking out towards your future within this relationship. What's this Two of Cups? What's this Two of Cups? Magician, what's this Two of Cups? What's this Two of Cups? Page of Wands. Somebody could be talking with immaturity. Make sure it's not you. Two of Cups. Looking out towards your future, trying to decide what action to take. Trying to manifest some sort of option here. Magician, uh, Gemini Virgo energy. Page of Wands, gonna have some sort of communication. Seven of Wands. Makes uh, you feel defensive, or they feel defensive, depending upon what it is, you know, how you resonate within this reading. If you're the one doing the communicating or not. Seven of Wands. What's this Knight of Cups? Sudden wealth, this person's gonna approach you suddenly. What's this uh, Knight of Cups in Sagittarius's future? Eight of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Cups? You could work with this person. What is this Knight of Cups? The Star. Wish Fulfillment. This person's Wish Fulfillment is going to involve some sort of sudden opportunity for work. Eight of Pentacles which they could be blocking. I mean, heavy with the Aquarius energy here, which they could be blocking, Four of Pentacles. Why they would do that? Why would they block that? What is this High Priestess? That doesn't make any sense, but it's not their reading. What is this High Priestess in Sagittarius' balance? There's something false here. What is this High Priestess? Yeah, what is this High Priestess? What is this High Priestess? There's, you need a higher perspective. So you're the one who needs the higher perspective, Hangman, right? Yes, this is in the you position. About this feeling of stability here, about this opportunity. Again, King of, of Swords is an authority figure. It could even be, if this is in your family life, like if this is not romance, if this is not work for you, it could be a, a parental figure, okay? Somebody's being false here. False person, seven of swords, lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating. This person you're already in this relationship with, two of cups that you already know, hangman energy, that it's this person that is like juggling, that has something to do with your stability here, okay? This relationship. So, I mean, look. Hangman, hangman. Two of cups, two of cups. This here, where there's this defensive energy going on. You need to be using your intuition and getting a higher perspective because somebody's being false with you. Whoever this is, is being false with you. What is this temperance card in Sagittarius' balance? Only you can fix it. You're sad, though. What is this temperance card in Sagittarius's balance? What is this temperance card in Sagittarius's balance? What is this temperance card? What is this temperance card in Sagittarius's balance? Four of Swords. Four of Wands. Eight of Wands. So you're going to get some sort of communication here about this relationship. Four of Wands makes you very sad. Four of Swords. Because somebody wants to take some sort of break here, Four of Swords. They want distance and separation from you. So it might feel like suddenly they're going to tell you something's not working here. And, you know, their wish fulfillment lies elsewhere. What is this Five of Pentacles? Uh, that's like getting emperor energy. It's Aries energy. So it could be your father. It could be a father figure. You could be a father. What is this five of pentacles? 
What is this five of pentacles? What is this five of pentacles? More Aries energy. Having some sort of victory here. With that six of wands. Could be because of a boss, an employer, a father, a father figure. Somebody taking a leap of faith here. This fool card for a new opportunity. Page of Pentacles, my Ace of Pentacles. After somebody leaves them feeling left out in the cold. What's this world card? Because there's gonna be an end of some kind of relationship. Whatever this is, because this is like in the Two of Cups. What's this world card? What's this world card? What's this world card? Three of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, Minor Arcana, Empress card, Taurus, Libra energy. So over here, this choice, somebody made, made you feel sad or because they felt sad. Is this entirely possible? There's a, they want to set down some sort of burden in order to have some sort of reunion. And they're bringing something to a conclusion for a new opportunity. What's the Six of Cups? Child card. What's the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups? So, Queen of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Libra, also a card of Virgo. This person, and this King of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the air, um, Leo, also a card of uh, Cancer. This person is going to move on to calmer waters. Possibly with the child. I'll look up the angel number 66. Possibly because of child. Possibly because of potential. You could have a child with this person. That's also a possibility. Or they could just have a child. And that would just be an identifier of how you know who they are. They're making a head over heart decision and they're moving on to calmer waters. What is this Queen of Cups? It's like getting the Five of Pentacles. What is this Queen of Cups? What is this Queen of Cups? What is this Queen of Cups? Yeah. Needing to use one's intuition about this feeling left out in the cold, about this person saying no. King of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Taurus, also card of Aries. Nine of Wands, because of a feeling of defensiveness. Sagittarius energy, Nine of Wands. If you're feeling defensive and sad because of an opportunity that this person has to get out of this five of pentacles, this, this feeling that they're in. Because they, they're feeling a, a particular type of way. And they are. That I think that, you know, they're... You guys need to have a conversation. And you need to... You both need to hear each other. Before all this is over. Unless you want it all to be over. Advice for Sagittarius, September 21st to the 28th. Advice for Sagittarius, September 21st to the 28th. Advice for Sagittarius, September 21st to the 28th. Yeah, you need to communicate. You need to make a choice here. Like, if you want this person in your life, and this is something you've decided that you want, right? There's someone you want in your life, then you've got to treat them like you want them in your life. You've got to treat them like they're... You know, important to you. 
you got to talk to them about it. you got to try to understand their perspective. If you're not going to try to understand their, expect, their, their perspective on whatever this is, this Five of Swords, Five of Wands, that it was happening here in your past, then what you're really saying is, I don't really care about you. Because if you're not trying to understand the other person, then you don't care about them. You just want what you want. And why are they even in your life? If you care about them, listen. They should listen to you. You should listen to them. But listening doesn't mean either one of you blindly does what the other person says. You have to find the compromise. It's a choice. You need to take this leap of faith and have this conversation. You're not gonna, the, the only way the middle ground, the only way there's going to be peace in this relationship is with this communication from you. This is your card. Spirit is saying that only you can bring balance to this situation and the responsibility is yours. This is uh, your chance to pause the video to think of one to three questions you might want answered because this deck does that. I'm gonna pull three cards. Message for Sagittarius. Helpful people, message for Sagittarius. Meditation brings answers, message for Sagittarius. Listen to your intuition, those are all yeses. Just this one, you might need help from other people to do. This one, Spirit's asking you, in both cases, asking you to listen. Think on things. Don't just react. Think first. Speak later. Advice for Sagittarius, September 21st through the 28th. Advice for Sagittarius, September 21st through the 28th. Advice for Sagittarius, September 21st through the 28th. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. A new start is coming. New moon. But you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. What do you need to release? Waning moon. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Emotions are running high. Super moon. And a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So that's a bunch of endings. Something needs to end. So that you can have new. Nothing in your situation will change. Unless you put an end to something. Like I said, Spirit is telling you the responsibility is yours. Message for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius. Thank you. Fairy doors. Fairy land is an in between place. But you come close to the borders every day. A ring of stones, a doorway, a circle of mushrooms. The entry points for our magical world hold the answers you seek. I hope that helps, Sagittarius, because it's what I have for you. Just remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here.